Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Just chilling in the back of the bongo. These are some of the comfiest seats I've ever sat in in a car or van. But anyway, welcome back. Uh, today we are doing a quick bit on the exhaust um, and a service of the engine, diesel, oil, all that sort of thing. So, yeah, let's get to it. back box but the back box turned up before the gasket and the uh, and the bolts so it's just sort of floating in there at the moment so I just need to get it fixed in <coughs> climb under oh I'd love a ramp <coughs> god I should have jacked it up really shouldn't I too late. Well, as you can see, all I've done is I've pulled off the old uh, hangers because I cut off with the uh, angle grinder and just push them in just to sort of hold it in place for a minute until. Uh, so these bits turned up. Now I'm kind of doing this blind to say the truth because um, I've got a diff in my face but that goes over the little flange thing inside and I think that just sits there kind of thing and then um, which way am I going to be I think we would better ratchet in this side, so I'll put the bolt through. Sorry, big lorry went past. If I put the bolt through that way, spring washer behind, and then <laughs> face full of rust, and then put this nut on there that holds that. Then repeat the other side. Now the keen-eyed viewers here will know, will notice that there's a hole here and a hole here, and I am fully aware of that. When I was cutting off the old one, oh, whoopsie! When I was cutting off the old um, exhaust bolts because they were properly like welded on over time. Um, I sort of getting the grinder here and I clipped it there and then I was doing this side and I just clipped it there so now there's a hole in the old bit as well but one of my mates is gonna um, weld up the hole for me he's good like that um, actually I think I might put an extension on oh so much rust in my face yeah I'm gonna need an extension I think let me grab one of them quick as I climb a million miles back out from under the bongo. That's better. I've done it up tight ish, but still going to leak from this hole. So once I've, um, all my mates welded this and this, then I'll check it's properly tightened down and sealed up and stuff with that little gasket in there. Hopefully we should be all good then, no more exhaust blow, we hope. So next thing I'm going to do, start up the engine, warm up the oil a little bit um, and then give it a service. Basically drop the oil, change the filter, place the oil. Nice. Right, so to get the uh, engine bay open, on the bongo, little screw there, 
little screw just under the ashtray and then that he says there you go that just lifts out and then you peel back the uh, carpet here and you've got a clip on there and then you've also got let's get this out of the way pull back this carpet clip there and a clip there and then just stash these uh, screws and then you should just lift poof there she is little peach So I'm going to be doing this diesel filter down here as well, hopefully. Um, I think the oil filter is the other side, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Have a look in a sec. Right, I've let it warm up for a bit. So I'm just hoping the oil filter is just down here. I'm hoping it's going to come off nice and easy. Um, he says, let's hope. I'm going to need two hands for this. I'll have to put you down. No. Let's have a look at this. Not a massive amount, and they're going to need a little bit more, I think. Good job of changing it. Right, I'm going to get a yeah, oil filter spanner thing on that. Try and get that off. Um, I think I have to go underneath. I've got one of these chain things. You just wrap that around the oil filter flip it in and then it sort of like levers against itself and undoes it usually pretty good so I'm going to do that now so yeah basically the, uh, the chain wraps around and then it sort of bites into the it doesn't bite it like pressures on there and then you can get a bit of leverage on it there you go yes there's movement oh slipped a bit And then it falls off like that. Then you start again. Let me get in a better position. Let's see what I'm doing. There she goes. Right, that. Oh, crossed. Let's just do that back up a minute. I just wanted to make sure that that was going to come free before I uh, drop the oil pan, well, not pan, plug, whatever it is. There's the sun plug. 19. Crikey Moses. She's on there. Down. Uh, not too bad. Alright. That is this is a diesel, so it's gonna be black as your hat. Which it is, and it's nice and warm, so it's running pretty well. Flowing pretty well I should say. I'm just gonna leave that to drain. That is pretty much nearly finished uh, draining. And what I normally do at this point is chuck a little bit of oil into the uh, filler cap thing, um, just so just so it comes out of that hole, and then it sort of just flushes any last bits of the old oil out. If that makes sense. So I'm just going to go and pour a little bit of oil down the uh, down the filler cap quick. 
with its nice new uh, sump plug washer there as well. Next thing I'm going to do is remove that um, old filter. Filter's full of oil, so I'm just kind of like trying to drain it into the uh, pan thing. Right, I'm just leave that for a minute because it's still draining really slowly underneath, so I'll be right back. Right, sump plug's back in. Oh, look at that, pre lubed. Very nice. Never had that before. Um, what am I doing? Chuck a little bit of this around the uh, thingy anyway, because. Oh man of habit. Then I'll just sort of put a little bit in there just to help when we start her up. Another little bit that's filled. I won't be able to fill it <coughs> all the way up because I put it sideways and it'll just all fall out. So, But there's a little wire ring in there as well. I'll just sort of make sure that's lubed up. Make sure all of that's lubed and then um, chuck it back in and then just hand tight. Give it a little branch up your hands, don't go and get a span on it or whatever. Don't be that guy. Put clean down. That's that. Right, how much we got in here? Five litres. So I'm going to chuck all five in there and then another one and a half from another bottle and then we should be up to uh, up to our level hopefully fingers crossed i'm gonna go and find a funnel do i even need the funnel straight in one lot in diesel filter time I'm gonna drop this pipe out of the way quick because I think it might make it no, that's all rusty oh dear let me go and get some Lidl's tools again back in action with a Halford's advanced ratchet uh, what size is that 10 it must be a 10 Everything's 10. Where's my 10? Is that my 10? That's a 9. So that must be a 10. That's 11. Hey? 8. Where's my 10? I think I've just found something that's broken. Yeah, it is broken. So, if you look at this, here's your intake. There's a little pipe here, it looks like a check valve or something on there that goes one way. <clears throat> and that is snapped off of there. What's that side like? That side's alright. Yeah, it looks like it's just snapped. No idea what that does. So, it's allowed to go that way. Not that way. Don't know. Seems to run alright without it. Maybe I'll just glue that back on. Might run a bit better. Who knows? Strange. Leave a comment below if you know what this does. Or that does. Little solenoid thing for something. Anyway, right. Let's change the diesel filter. I'm pretty sure all this does. I think it's like a uh, sediment alarm thing so when, it, when you get water in there or whatever it tells you in the cab okay here we go oh, 
She's on the on the rack. Being a pig, can't get it off with it in situ, so I've undone these two 12 mil bolts. Um, and what I'm going to do, I might just drop these hoses off. So that one goes to the engine. Come on, be nice. There you go. And then this one goes to the tank. Let's try and free that up a little bit. Hopefully you can see. Ah, there she goes. All right, covered in diesel. Now should be able to get this off a bit easier. Hopefully. God, it's been on there a while. It's actually a bit of a pig to get off. Um, I ended up having to go around the corner to my brother's house and uh, borrow his vice because I haven't got a vice, it's something I don't have. But just clamped that in and then got like the filter wrap thing, strap, whatever, around it and uh, got hold of it and got it undone. But I think it's just all rusted in, so. But got it off and get the, uh, get the new one on there now. Took a little bit of oil. There's probably some down here actually, isn't there? There's a bit of oil there. Lovely. Bit of that around the seal. Screw it back on. What's this say? Priming pump, air plug, sensor, drain plug. Yeah, so that's your... Uh, when you're pumping it up, you can just sort of crack that and the air comes out. tight hand tight right now I'm gonna go and put that sensor thing back in screw that in there's a little new little o-ring there obviously take the tape off um, put that in mount it prime it let the air out start her up see what happens that uh, air bleed screw is a little 10 mil so I'm just gonna crack that off while I'm in loosen that a little bit so and then do it up finger tight so I can get it off easy in a minute uh, swap the o-ring for the new one and then just screw that back into the uh, bottom of the filter then I'll the plug float switch thing back in like that and then that clips back on there fuel to the engine goes there stop on and then I think it's just a case of uh, pumping the old doodles on the top there you go, so you can see some bubbling, so that's, as you push down it sucks fuel in and then pushes it this way. Um, so I'm just going to get ready with this to do this up in a minute, when we start seeing some diesel. Still loads of bubbles. Oh, it's gone a little bit hard now. Do that bleed screw up, give it a few pumps. 
till it goes firm, which it is. And I'm just going to crack. I think this is easy with a spanner actually. So that's nice and firm. And I'm just going to crack this open. A little bit of air. Tighten it back up. A few more pumps. Crack it open. Go again. Yeah, that's just diesel coming out there. Beautiful. All right, it might take a couple of extra turns to start the engine, but hopefully. Oh, some pops and bangs, I don't know if you heard that. Pop and bang map on a bike. Right, let's put this back in. see if it starts up check the oil level off camera it's all good up to the full uh, filters in plugs in filler caps back on I think yep so yeah, we're good to go just going to prime it a couple of times make sure we've got plenty of fuel where we need to for it. Wow. Right guys, back in the bongo for a little rest after all that. Um, my eyebrows gone all funny. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope that helps anybody out. Um, it's quite easy to do yourself um, if you've got a, you know, a couple of spanners and that. Hopefully your uh, filters and that went on as rusted as mine. Um, but again, it's not the end of the world. Quite straightforward. You'll be fine. So thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button down below. Give us a like. All the good stuff. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks, guys.